Bowman here from BW1, and I want to give you guys a quick and dirty unboxing of the HTC 10, rather just a quick unboxing of it here. So as you guys know from the last video, we were at the HTC 10 launch event, and we get the chance to walk away with around HTC 10 review unit here as we kind of take the cover off there. We'll put it back for just a second to show you that the packaging pretty much looks similar to the same packaging they've been doing for about the last three years or so. They shaved down the box here a little bit. All right, and spoiler alert, I did sort of already set this up a little earlier. I was in New York City um, and I wanted to take pictures with the camera and we were in Times Square, so I just had to take that opportunity there. But I can roll off the plastic there for you just a little bit. So you can see the HTC 10 there itself. Let's see what it comes with. So inside here, we have, let's take a look. We have your uh, SIM card tool there. You have your, it looks like your stickers with all your IMEI information. Looks like you have your manuals, guides, instructions right here. We'll put that to the side. Um, what else do we have? Oh, here we go. This is your quick charge. This is Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0 charger which is going to give you fast charging with it and then you have a usb type c cable because this is a phone with usb type c we'll take a quick tour around this bad boy one more time here so you have a 5.2 inch quad hd display we'll go ahead and let that power up in the background you can see the screen there you have usb type c uh, port at the bottom also with the speaker grill at the bottom no more front firing speakers you do have a uh, fingerprint sensor here in the front five megapixel what they call an ultra selfie camera on the front there with the ois here on the back we have a 13 excuse me 12 megapixel camera what they're calling a ultra pixel camera here on the back also with ois and laser autofocus much more improved uh, you have the htc etching here on the back you have sort of this chamfered edges that are sort of kind of stand out around the metal casing here you're going to hear the boot launching there and then you have uh, i believe this is your micro sd card on this side and then this should be a sim card slot on the side or the other way around whichever one there's that's where you add the extra cards to add extra storage on it so and um here's your volume buttons here your power button here with a little bit of sort of jagged edges here on the side it's pretty nice Android starting up. On the top here, we have your uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but that's also a 24 bit audio DAC built in with that. So you'd be able to listen to high res audio when you have some really good headphones that you really want to use this with. And that's pretty much it for the hardware tour itself. And like I said, it, it, and, and when I, in my last video, that does feel pretty good in the hand. It has a nice premium quality to it, especially with the um, sort of the, uh, the chamfered edges and sort of make it a little bit better in terms of gripping here on the back than in prior devices. As this boots up, we'll talk about some of the specs here. We do have a Snapdragon 820 processor inside of it with four gigabytes of RAM. It's 4G LTE enabled. This is the unlocked version of the phone, so it should be able to work with, e with most carriers here in the United States. It does come with 32 gigabytes of built-in storage. There's a 32 gigabyte option, and there's also a 64 gigabyte option as well too, but you can expand the storage from micro SD card up to 200 gigabytes, which HTC kind of sent us along one with the package to kind of use. We're going to use that to listen to some high-res audio because those are big files and streaming isn't going to be what you're going to be able to do with it. Okay, all booted up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and unlock it here. So we're running Android 6.0 on the HTC 10 with Sense UI, the latest version of here. It has some pretty unique themes and things that we'll be able to get to play around with, but it's mostly kind of the typical HTC experience that you expect. You see they have the stock uh, notification screen here, which is pretty cool. They've done a little bit of customization with it, but it looks very similar to stock. And we can go into the app drawer here. You open that up. You can see your list of applications right there and available to you, which we pre-installed a few earlier because we got you we had to, I had to open this up when I was in Times Square to take pictures with the camera to test it out, which will have some of those images available now up on our Instagram page. So you'll be able to check out some of the snaps from this camera directly, uh, the front and rear, and you'll also be check out some of the video that we did as well too so we can check out the quality. So that's just a quick and dirty unboxing of the HTC 10. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page here. We're gonna have our review probably next week, probably tomorrow, you'll probably get sort of 48 or 72 hours sort of first impression of the device. And then the review will probably come next week or the week after, a little bit later down the road when we when we have some time to really give you an in-depth good, uh, good review and sort of talk about the HTC 10. Um, like I said, be sure to subscribe, uh, follow us on all our social networks. Uh, definitely wait to the end to check out what's coming up soon here at BW1.com. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching. 
All right, really excited here to finally get the G5 in here for, uh, to review here. I want to thank AT&T for sending this along to us. It's pretty cool. It's got that modular sort of idea to it. And you definitely see that when you unbox it here. So we have, we have AT&T sort of packaging and information here. Uh, SIM card information, warranty guides and instructions. Looks like we have their, looks like this is the travel adapter, a wall adapter, USB cable, pin, SIM card pin tool. Finds we have the 5.5 inch display, a pretty cool, nice display here on it. Should be the IPS, quantum IPS display that LG loves to use, which gives you pretty good accurate colors and such. It has like sort of this nice sort of glass uh, uh, um, sort of film here on the top of it. It makes it look really nice. It has a nice elegant look from what I can see. You have your front facing camera there at the top. Um, you have a, you have your 60 megapixel and 8 megapixel shooters here on the back. So you have two different size shooters. One is your standard 16 and one is a wide angle 8 megapixel shooter, which is pretty cool. You have your uh, power button and tribute your fingerprint sensor here on the back, 18T logo. It's a nice sort of smooth finish here with it. You do have your headphone jack there at the top. You do have your, uh, stand, looks like this is your uh, USB type C here at the bottom, which is pretty cool. You have your little speaker grill here at the bottom as well too. And we can swipe this on and open. Should be running Android 6.0 with uh, sort of LG's UI on top of it. Interestingly enough, there isn't a um, app drawer on here. I believe there's a setting we can change it to add that, but right now there isn't on there, which is interesting and something different. You usually see mostly on sort of, sort of uh, overseas UIs, but we have it here now in America. Pretty interesting to see how that's gonna work out. I'm running a Snapdragon 820 processor, four gigabytes of RAM, 32 and 64 gigabytes, uh, 32 and 64 gigabyte storage options with uh, micro SD card support as well too, which you can see right there on the side. But the big thing here is to hit that button at the bottom, slide out the phone. It's all about that module in this right there. So you can swap out a battery, you can put a camera module in there. They have a speaker and all those things you can sort of add to it. And it's real easy just to slide that right back in, it snaps in. Actually, that worked out really, really a lot smoother than I kind of expected. But just a quick an unboxing here of the LG G5. We'll definitely have a review coming up soon. So definitely stay tuned to the channel for that.